Hi everybody, uh, my name is Motwana, so let's get started. So this question comes from a student from Kozul Natal. They say, hey, Motwana, from uh, one of the places in province, is South Africa. They say, Motwana, help us with this question, okay? I'm having a problem. My, my assignment is due very soon. And I don't know what I'm going to tell to my teacher because last time I came up with a lot of story. Now she's not going to understand anything, so please help me out. So this is a question right here. So first and foremost, if you're new to this program, make sure you come, please subscribe to a platform. Come right here, subscribe. So every time when I upload new video, that you can get the notification automatically. Let's get started. So they say here, let me change the pink color quick. They say, look, the equation, so they give us quadratic. X squared minus, uh, plus 2X minus 1. Find the equation of a tangential. Okay, so look. The equation of a tangential is a straight line always. What does that mean? Look. Look. So you say tangential equation is y equal to mx plus c, mx plus c, because you know why this equation of a line, mx plus c. So what you do face, you have to find your slope. So how are you going to get your slope? To get your slope, meaning face derivative of this function is going to give us a slope. So how are we going to do this? Okay, face derivative. So make sure you write over the, to say face find equation. For equation of a tangential. Okay, uh, let me write here on top so you know I can get to save a lot of space here. So I'm gonna say find the equation of a tangential. Find equation of a tangential. Okay, find equation of a tangential. That we're looking for. Okay, so the question thing is should we say y equal to mx plus c. So face we need to get what the m. How are you gonna get m? m is a slope. So I'm gonna get m derivate your function, then you're gonna get a slope. So say f prime. Okay, it's gonna be 2x because you derivate, and then you derivate 2x, you're gonna get 2. And when you derivate this constant number, it's gonna give us zero, you normal derivative. So now we're gonna say f prime. But we know this here at x equal to 1. Oh, so in the position of x, we're going to put all to 1 here. Instead of x, you say 1, 2 times. What is x? x is equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 4. Oh, so we're going to say now a prime meaning slope, just like how we say. So m equal to 2 to 4. So we're going to say, oh, so this question is going to become y because a prime meaning slope. Let me write here, not f prime meaning m or you can say this is slope or sometimes they go ahead and say another word that you can use called gradient okay so you can call it slope or you can call it gradient any of the names is fine so we have our slope which is four so in the position here of this m we're gonna write for x is just x the plus 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 our two so the problem here we have no plus our C. Where does two come from? Sorry. Plus our our C. Okay, so let's do this. So the problem here I'm having, okay? I need to get I need to get what? The value of y and x to get equation of a tangential. So simple I'll say what is y? Look, they say this tangential of x equal to one. Look. If I can substitute this x equal to the position of equation of equal to 1, it means it's going to be f. Let me write here f. What is x? x equal to 1. It's going to be 1 equal to, instead of this x, you're going to write what? 1. Square, square. And then we plus or plus and then 2 times 1 times 1. And then we minus or minus 1. And this is going to give us 1 square equal to 1 minus 2 equal to 1 minus uh this is going to cancel, so just a 2. Oh, so at the tangential point, point of tangential, point of tangential, equal to what is x? x equal to 1, and y equal to 2. That's a tangential point. So for that case, now I can substitute in this equation. Let me call this, let me call this, let me call this equation 1. y equal to 2, I'll put here 2, equal to x. 4 times x. What is x? x equal to 1 means 4 times 1 plus c because we want to get the value of c. Now this is going to be 4 times 1 equal to 4. So this can be simply 4. And then we take over. So 2 minus 4 equal to 
C. Because this one went over. So negative 2 equal to C. Oh, C equal to negative 2. So we're going to take this negative 2 and plug in here. So a question of tangential final is going to become y equal to 4 times x. What is x? x equal to? We don't need x. We just need the value of c now. It's going to be 4x plus c. What is a c? c equal to negative 2. So this is a question of a tangent. Question of a tangent we have y equal to 4x minus 2. 4x minus 2. And this is tangential tangent. Oh. So I can simply say Oops, just erase here. Come on, erase now, man. Take time to erase. I don't like that. Okay, so we can say uh, equation of a tangent. Equation of tangent we have equal to y equal to 4x minus 2, y equal to 4x minus 2, and tangential point equal to, so I can say tangential point, tangential point we have, add the tangential point, equal to 1 and 2. Okay, and the question of a tangent, which is the first one, equal to y equal to 4x minus 2. Okay, so we're done with the first part. Now, this second part they say here, what do they want us to find? Is very easy. But let me show you now something which can make a lot of sense because without graph, sometimes it don't make sense. Look, let me draw my simple graph using the information they gave to me, okay? What is the tangential point? Tangential point one, two. So before you draw tangential point, let's draw our original curve. So let me show you using, uh, you can just use normal cell, okay? So let's come here. X equal to negative B plus or minus. I know everybody know how to use this formula. B square minus 4AC over 2A. So our X equal to negative. What is that B? B equal to 2, positive 2 plus or minus square root. B square, what is B square? 2 square because it's 2 square. 2 square root 4. Minus 4 times A means 4 times 1 times C equal to negative 1 equal to. Okay. 4 times A. A equal to 1 times C. C equal to negative 1. And then over 2 times A. A equal to 1. So plug this in the calculator. Okay. This is going to give us 8. Okay. So I can simply say a value of X equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2 square root 2. You can just do slowly and then over 2. So this same is say um, this and this, this concept is going to be negative one plus or minus two square root of two. Okay, so, sorry. So value of x to negative one plus or minus two square root of two. But you can plug in a calculator. Okay, negative one. Let's start to the plus. Plus two. No, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, so, okay, I'm wrong, I think I made a mistake here, so, look, so it's x to negative, 2 plus or minus, b squared, what is b squared, b squared means uh, 2 squared equal to 4, minus 4 times a, a equal to 1, times c, c equal to negative 1, and this is going to give us 8, so over 2 times a, a equal to 1, I apologize for that, okay, so this was wrong here, so we say then x equal to negative 2 plus or minus, okay, square root of 8. Okay, square root of 8 equal to 2 square root of, yeah, I was right, 2 over 2, okay. Okay, now, 2, 1 cancel, 2, 1 cancel, 2 cancel. So it's 1 plus minus square root of 2, 1 plus minus square root of 2, okay. Okay. So x in a cell equal to minus one plus or minus square root of two. Now let's plug in a calculator. One 
plus let's say uh, square root of two. Let's start with the square root of two first. Two point four one. Okay, so if we plus for the first value of x, means you say negative one plus square root of two is going to give us two point four one. Two point four one. But if we minus, means when you say x equal to negative one minus square root of two. Uh, negative 0 0.4 so it's going to give us all negative 0 comma 4 so the value of x in a set we know see the value of x in a set we know oh oh, oh wait, wait 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 i forgot sorry my apology that one if this is oh i'm wrong this is gonna okay i'm wrong here so so the plus one let me start to the plus again. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, 0 0.4. So when you plus, it's going to give you 0 0.4. I was wrong. 0 0.41. But for minus, negative 2.4. Negative 2,41. Okay. So now I can come and allocate this negative 2,41 somewhere there and for plus 0 0.4 somewhere here. Rough sketch. And what is y-intercept? Y-intercept equal to negative 1. Means it's going to cut at negative 1. Somewhere here. So this is a rough sketch. Now let's draw. Okay. So this is a rough sketch. Negative 2, comma 4. 0, comma 4, 1. So now we want to draw a equation of a tangent. The equation of a tangent we have. E y equal to 4x plus 1. y equal to 4 x minus 2 sorry i was my minus 2 when x intercept y equal to 0 and we take over to equal to 4x so x equal to 2 oh so x intercept means gonna cut here let's say there what is y intercept when y intercept x equal to 0 i mean this gonna be equal to 0 so it's gonna cut at negative 2 let's assume negative let's assume negative 3 equal to come down so sort of way here Okay, so if I had to draw this graph, means roughly, man, no, it don't make no sense. So we're going to say here, oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. So we're going to say, oh, no, no, let me just say it again. When x intercept y equal to 0, this is going to be negative 2, negative 2. Let's say here, let's say this is negative 2. And y Oh, okay, I see my mistake. So the mistake is, look, let me say it again, let me say slow now. So we know our x intercept. What is the x intercept? x intercept equal to that one and that one. And y intercept equal to negative 2 for the original graph. Now we want to come and allocate this. Okay. When y intercept means x equal to 0. So equal to, it's going to be, when y intercept x equal to 0, it's going to be y equal to 0 minus 2, negative 2 somewhere here. When x intercept, y equal to 0. So it's going to be 0 equal to 4x minus 2. If you take over, it's going to be 2 equal to 4x. So x equal to a half. Oh, x equal to half me somewhere here. Rough sketch. Somewhere here. So now if you have to draw this graph here, look, it's going to be like this. So this is sketch, a uh, rough sketch, right? So this is negative 2. And touching point is going to be somewhere here. Let's no, it cannot be there. Touching point is going to be... Here, so it's just a rough sketch. The graph is gonna be like this. Let me just copy for you here. The graph is going to be like this. See, so the actual face graph, meaning this is gonna be zero comma four one, and this is gonna be negative what negative two point four one, and then now when you plug this stuff here. The green one is going to be the equation of a tangent. And this is going to be tangential point, which is 2. 
see but i just because of the scale that's why my graph was messy a little bit but i i hope you understand what i'm saying okay meaning this one here point of tangent is going to come here and cut like this look. and this gonna be negative two and this gonna be tangential point which is one and two just like how we say our tangential point here is one and two can you see tangential point one and two so now what do we want this is find the question of a normal so normal so we we, we know we know definitely have a question of tangent which is which this one so normal meaning is always normal perpendicular to the tangential means normal is always like if this tangential is like this normal is going to come this way let's say like this they always make angle 90 with a tangential so if they make angle 90 meaning sorry means their slope when you multiply them equal to negative one means slope of normal times slope of tangent equal to negative one but we have a slope of a tangent slope of tangent equal to four so i'm going to say slope of normal times slope of tangent equal to positive four equal to negative one so now i can just divide it by four divided by four so say slope of normal equal to negative one over four why do they because i'm looking for the equation of a normal but now then i can say equation of a normal which is okay we use the equation of a normal equal to slope of a normal times x plus c we have a slope of normal y equal to negative one over four so y equal to negative one over four x plus c so now what we want to get we want to get to c so that we can get complete equation of a normal so now remember at tangential point we know tangential point tangential point is what is one and two so here where the tangent let me use another color is that what at one and two so i can substitute these the value of y here and the value of x here and that's going to help us to get c so then we're going to say i can simply write here so i can simply say y i know my value of y because i have to use tangential point y equal to two two equal to negative one over four x x equal to one plus c so this negative one over four i can take it over so it's going to become plus so two plus negative one over four is going to be two one over four equals c which is going to be nine over four so it's nine over four so i got my c equal to nine over four means i can replace this with nine over four now it's going to become nine over four and now we have a question of a equation of a normal but i can write this as a linear I can simply say equation of a normal. Uh, look, so y go to negative one over four x, and then plus one over four, and that can multiply by four throughout. So this can be four y equal to because multiply by four and then multiply by four to make it linear. Multiply by four. This in this cancel. This in this cancel. So you're going to be left with negative x, and then plus plus. Uh, nine because it's nine over four nine this was nine over four sorry nine so i can rearrange it they can say equal to four y come over it's going to be plus x and this come over is going to be minus nine equal to zero so this is going to be no more to the tangent and if you draw it it's going to be like this see you can draw slowly find the x intercept and y intercept is going to come like that so that's a question of a no more you see what i'm saying that's a question of a no more so if you face time in this program let's come uh, please subscribe and share this with a lot of people like i say you know it's a lot of new students here so please come here subscribe right here come subscribe please and share this with a lot of students and then um uh, i'll see you there soon peace in the mouth peace